Today, I decree that the Lord will not cast you away from his presence. He will not take his Holy Spirit away from you. This day will not be a day of trouble for you. The wind of destruction will not blow in your direction today. It will not blow in your home. It will not blow over your business. Your case will not be the kind that happened to Job. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will not lose that which God has given you today. Your case will be like David. You will be a man, a woman after God's heart. You will not fall short of his goodness and mercy. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will spare you the way a father spares his son that he loves. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will continue to support you in all ramifications. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will enter into your hidden part and cleanse you from inside out. Today, the Lord will dismantle the stronghold of darkness over your life. The stronghold of anger is destroyed. The stronghold of resentment is destroyed. The stronghold of bitterness is destroyed. The stronghold of confusion is destroyed. The stronghold of self-centeredness is destroyed. The wind of blessing, the showers of blessing, will blow in your direction, will come in your direction. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will plead your case today and he will give you victory. You will not be a prey. In the name of Jesus, the image of the devil will not overshadow God's glory in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree that your seed will not be stolen. Your seed will not be taken away. In the name of Jesus, your seed will germinate. Your seed will grow. Your seed will be fruitful in this land. Your seed will be fruitful in this generation. Your seed will remain by the riverside, bearing fruit in season. Your seed will never dry. Your seed will never wither. Your seed will continue to flourish. It will flourish and have many branches. And no power will be able to cut off your branches in the name of the Lord Jesus. Today, you will not break your covenant with God. Receive fresh grace to keep your vows to God, to keep your oaths with God, and to maintain your covenant with Him. Receive grace to keep your vows with your wife, your vows with your husband, your vows with your family. Your vows with fellow believers, your vows, your agreement with business partners. You will not be a disappointment. You will not be taken in the snare of the enemy. You will not be caught by the net of the enemy. God will grant you your desires. He will give you the desires of your heart. God will give you that which you deserve. Men will release to you that we should deserve. All the people that have been holding and delaying your blessings will release your blessing to you. And by the time you get them, all those bad feelings, bad experiences will no longer matter. Every plan to destroy you will contribute to your construction. Every plan to demote you will contribute to your promotion. Every plan to pull you down shall contribute to your elevation. Every plan to kill you will add to the years of your life. Every barrier before you shall turn to stepping stone. In the name of Jesus Christ, every plan of the enemy to disappoint you shall turn to announcing God's glory in your life. I decree that as from today, God will give you ease 
in place of your difficulties. He will grant you triumph in the battles of your life. He will give you triumph in place of your present trials. In the name of Jesus, good news will come to you that we wipe and dry your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. God will fight your battles and give you victory. Sickness will not steal your health. You will not trespass against God. God will not be angry with you. I decree that these prayers shall answer speedily in your life. So shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and Amen.